الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings Alishan Mo here So welcome to our roadside studio today which is really good to test quadcopters aerial filming quadcopters drones and FPV racing drones especially specifically the long range FPV racing drones which is uh, the topic of this video today as you have read already the Gap RC Crocodile Baby 4 inch long range FPV racing quadcopter check it out sitting down right here this is the crocodile baby 4 inch long range fpv racing quadcopters or cinematic drone uh long range cinematic drone from gap rc and i will be flying it with my tx16s radio controller uh which is using tbs crossfire light module and this one is also with tbs crossfire light receiver already installed before we proceed one thing i wanted to say companies what took you so long i used to fly long range on fpv quadcopters about 8 years ago check this footage out 7 or 8 years ago Yes, I used to fly long range on FPV DIY FPV quadcopters 7 8 years ago. What took you so long people to come up with long range FPV racing quadcopters? Having to have long range FPV racing quadcopters, you have freedom to go farther. You have freedom of speed, agility, aerobatics of uh long range uh, of FPV racing quadcopters and you know you can add naked gopro cameras or any other cameras now for example i have one here which i'm going to try the insta360 go and you can shoot some nice hd footage as well now gap rc claim they have set everything up on this quadcopter from factory including pids including the gps rescue mode yes check this out it has a gps already installed so gps rescue mode should you lose your connection it will fly back to home which was not the case last time when i hit the rth rescue mode to check to test the flight mode it just went down like a turd <laughs> but anyway for the very first time it came back second time it was a failure anyway So they said that they have tweaked the PIDs they have set the rescue mode as well and everything else is set all you need to do is connect your radio controller to it and uh tweak i mean uh do some settings on the beta flight and start flying All right let's just fly the quadcopter one time and see how things go Oh yeah Oh yeah, that was a right switch. Oh yeah. Views are good, mashallah. Very nice. Looking very good. I'll go right in front of me. I have to really increase the camera angle. Look at this bamboo is really high. Oh, I found the heaven for RC cars. Rock crawlers and RC cars bashing. Man, I found the heaven. Look at that. I got to climb up there and bash my BSD racing truck, man. That will be awesome. All right. One minute. Telemetry min loss. loss. Come on. That is TBS Crossfire, baby. What are you talking about? Maybe I went behind the, the mountain. 
Yeah, maybe I went behind the mountain. So far, the video is very good. <laughs> right now, I'm going behind me now. Absolutely behind me. Losing video, climbing up. Telemetry lost. Lost the telemetry, but quad is still fully under control. Telemetry recovered. Yeah, I know, baby. Coming down to the barbecue area. Check this out. Am I missing on the barbecue? This quad is flying absolutely beautiful, man. I used to build these long range FPV quadcopters and I used to go two, three, four kilometers before. That was like eight years ago. But now, yeah, I know. Now people are building these and calling them long range quadcopters and I'm happy that FPV racing quadcopters are actually getting to this level where you can fly them and have fun doing long range. Sweet man, I love this view, I love it. Telemetry recovered. Uh, come on radio, shut up. So I'm coming, I really have to increase camera angle, I can tell you that, because I'm missing on speed, I need more speed. <laughs> Beautiful shot. There you go. The agility, the acrobatics or aerobatics of uh, FPV racing quadcopter and flight times of a long range quadcopter and it can carry HD cameras like GoPro Naked and or Insta360 Go which is on board now and you can go far to shoot your videos. And here in this clip you can see I tried a bit of long range. I went about 1.16 km away and I had worse quality video reception. Man. And yes, I love this feature. Already installed and tuned by the Gap RC company, the team. The rescue beeper keeps beeping keeps on even the battery is disconnected check it out batteries so if you crash and your battery went down and or disconnected the beeper will start beeping you will have your last location on your DVR I would highly highly recommend you always record DVR and after that you can always go find your quad because it will keep on beeping so I'll just leave it beeping and go enjoy some barbecue oh that's for me thank you very much my baby and uh, well, we'll see how long this beeper will go on. It's been about an hour and this thing is still beeping. So the test of this rescue beeper is successful. About an hour, still beeps really nice. Now first off, I would say my personal feeling about this review is that I wasn't able to do it properly because Number one, I do not have the proper SD camera like GoPro Naked to put on the Crocodile Baby LR 4-inch uh, FPV racing quadcopter. So I couldn't bring you a proper SD footage that this quadcopter can actually do. And honestly, this can give you some very nice stunning cinematic footage. Number two, I do not have proper batteries. All I had was uh, old batteries which were not working very well which were 850 milliamp the 520 milliamp that actually work very well definitely are not going to give me a lot of flight time still I would say on a 4s 520 milliamp small battery this quadcopter was able to do a couple of circles around me that go all the way one kilometer and back while it was on lower voltage of course but it came back with rescue mode properly no more crashes this time and still I flew it a bit around and then landed it so on 520 milliamp battery I can go one kilometer or 1.5 kilometer and back easily given that I am cruising not doing some crazy speed now using the 520 milliamp if you perform FPV freestyling this thing will do it properly given that you have skills you can pull your favorite aerobatics you do need to change PIDs for uh, FPV freestyling and this will do the freestyling from the factory it comes with the PIDs which are set for nice and smooth cruising long-range cruising so if you want to do FPV freestyling you got to tweak the PIDs 
it will do and with the FPV freestyling I'm still getting three minutes out of uh, a small 520 milliamp battery sometimes more given that if I do mild aerobatics only so all in all I would say this quadcopter definitely has potential for long range and shooting some nice cruising surfing the hills trees cinematic footage imagine if I had uh, some beautiful waterfalls some water streams lakes I could cruise with this quad shooting beautiful cinematic footage out of this before I end this video I do want to say yes Gap RC Crocodile Baby is a very well-made very well-tuned from factory FPV racing long-range cinematic quadcopter with uh, some of the reliability of uh, return to home rescue mode GPS built-in uh, drone finder beeper which beeps for hours it definitely is something you might want to invest in if you're looking for a long-range cinematic FPV racing quadcopter Thank <music> you.